Hi, I'm Karina B. Singer. I'm an EFT or tapping practitioner. Tapping is the nickname. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques. And this is a wonderful, effective modality that can help you process your memories and experiences in a healthy way to bring what's stuck in your body and in your subconscious out and release it and allow yourself to remove the blocks that you may be experiencing to more joy and excitement and passion and happiness in your life. This is the third video in this series and it's going to be on feeling unappreciated. I think that's something that we can feel in all sorts of different types of relationships as a parent, as a child, as a friend. We can go through periods of time where we feel unappreciated and it's not a really fun feeling to feel, especially if you've been feeling it for a while. So I hope that this session will help you release this and be able to start giving yourself the appreciation and the compliments that you wish you could hear from others because really you're, you're the best person to give yourself compliments and encouragement and feel appreciated because you know yourself best and you can word it exactly the way that you want it to be worded. Whereas other people may not, and they can create, you know, they can say it in a way that maybe isn't perfect for you and you still feel unappreciated and you may feel disappointed. So I am excited because a, a wonderful client of mine actually asked me to include this in the series. We worked on this the other day and I think it was, it was a great suggestion because so many of us experienced this. So here we go. Let's do this. So feeling unappreciated, try to connect it to a specific memory. If you can, that is the most effective and helpful way to do EFT tapping. I'll say EFT tapping. It's really just EFT emotional freedom techniques. Tapping's the nickname. Sometimes I just combine it because some people are more familiar with tapping. Some people are more familiar with the EFT. So once you have your memory where you felt really unappreciated, rate your emotional charge zero to 10, 10 being the highest. You can pause this as we go. You can write this down. I really recommend that you do that because as we're tapping on this memory, some other aspects might come out, come up for you. And those are great to write down as well and even flow with and then you can even come back to your original feeling unappreciated. So tapping at the karate chop point. And if you need more foundation and history and tips, go back to my first and second videos and watch those and that will give you some more uh, feel for this if you're unfamiliar. So even though I feel unappreciated, I deeply and completely love myself, accept myself and forgive myself. I remember this time where this person did this. I'm just giving you an example. You fill in the blanks and I felt unappreciated. I just really wish this person would have complimented me and helped me feel appreciated. Maybe even being taken for granted is coming up for you right now. I feel really taken, taken for granted and unappreciated. Maybe even something, a pain is coming up in your body. And so notice that. Where are you holding this feeling of unappreciated in your body? And you can even tap into your color and your texture of this emotion in your body. Is it sticky? Is it black? This isn't a traditional part of EFT, but this is something I do with my clients. So again, we come back to that setup statement. Even though I feel unappreciated, I deeply and completely love myself, accept myself and forgive myself. Remember to take some nice deep breaths as you're recalling this memory. Maybe an earlier memory is coming up for you and so you roll with that. You go with it and you flow with it. Oh, that's right. I felt really unappreciated when I was really young and I did something really wonderful for my parent or my sibling and they didn't appreciate me. I'm just throwing out ideas. Obviously this is more effective when we're in a one-on-one -on -one session or a group session because I can, I can get feedback from you and help you move through what to say. You can also tap here, here, or you can do this. Okay. So if you see me doing different things, that's why this is, uh, under the arm, few inches below the armpit, unappreciated. Notice at every 
few rounds, just check in and find out, is your number moving? Did it go up? Maybe you weren't fully in tune with that feeling unappreciated when you started, but as you started recalling these memories coming out of your subconscious, you notice that number's gone up. That means you've tuned in more and you're more connected to it. And it's great because then you can keep working through it, processing. And it's just helpful to say different things. You don't have to say it out loud if you're by yourself doing this, but it is helpful to say things out loud. It gets it again out of the body, out of the throat chakra and helps you release. So something that you can do, I haven't mentioned this in the other videos, but since we're getting further along into the series, I might be adding some pro tips and some extra mastery into these later videos. Uh, something I like to do once I feel like it's down to a zero. Again, you don't always have to get down to a zero, but once you feel like you are really ready, and this isn't as heavy of a topic as some other topics, you might be totally fine getting down to a zero. And then you can even say, I release this feeling of being unappreciated from my body, mind, and spirit forever. I like to just add things like I release it from my DNA. I release it from my generational patterns. Deep breath. I release it from every part of me. And then sometimes I like to just place my hand over my heart and replace it. I replace this with feeling seen. That's a big part of not feeling appreciated is not feeling seen. I choose to start giving myself compliments. You can say whatever you want here, whatever comes to your mind, I am appreciated, I am valuable. I hope that this supports you today and that you can start making EFT a habit because it is seriously such a huge gift to know EFT. And a big thanks to Gary Craig, who's the founder of EFT. I just adore that man. I'm in his um, advanced training group and I've just loved mastering this further. I've been doing this 12 years and I still absolutely love it. And I hope that you love it too. Uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments below. Feel free to email me at tappingwithkarina at gmail.com with questions or if you want additional support, I do offer the first session free with me. So no strings attached. I just like people to be able to experience it. Luckily you'll be experiencing this to some degree in, in these videos. And then we can go even deeper in a session and, and give you some really individualized attention. Lots of love.